Hey guys, this is Elise. I'm a licensed professional counselor and I also provide personal coaching services. I own and operate Counseling Care Circle as Counselor Park in the state of Ohio, USA. In this video, I'll be sharing an update about this channel. The reason I started this channel was part of how I pivoted back in February and March 2020 with COVID-19. A friend of mine invited me to help her admin a private group that was quickly going viral as a think space on how to treat COVID-19 among healthcare workers across the country, across disciplines, and across specialties. It was open to all healthcare workers due to the novel virus's lethality. We were also getting healthcare worker members from around the world. In those forums, it was abundantly clear, and it still remains to be abundantly clear, that healthcare workers, especially those who are treating COVID actively, were showing signs of mental and emotional distress, even some early signs of potential trauma. As a psychotherapist, I know that healthcare workers are the first and the last line of defense against the worst aspects of mental and emotional problems, the worst of it being, namely, suicide. So for the well-being of our society globally, I felt a deep conviction to do my part in my little corner of the world to share information freely about self-care for mental and emotional health. I knew that I could not share counseling interventions as a pre-recorded video for you, like where I give you questions and then say something like, oh, why don't you give yourself therapy for self-care in this time? Because that is not how therapy is effectively administered. But I could give you information on how to help yourself without the hands-on guidance of a therapist with tools and skills and resources that are not medical interventions. So. I'll share more about that in another video, but basically therapy is a form of healthcare and therapeutic interventions are medical interventions. That said, there are pieces of the therapeutic relationship where resources are given to clients, to patients that are not medical interventions in nature. So, um, but they're boosts, they're, they're helpful things that a person can do. So those are the types of things that I have been sharing on this channel and in other places uh, that people could use. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll share more about that in another video. But anyways, back to the topic of this video. Um, the methods that I've been sharing on this channel are not meant to replicate or replace therapy or even to create a false sense of provider-patient relationship with viewers for those who need therapy, but rather to help expand your window of tolerance and to increase your personal resilience during these extremely distressing times. Now, different pockets of society are being reopened for business and lifting restrictions to help us move forward in terms of continuing an economy that shares and moves physical and fiscal resources around for everyone's consumption and in short, for everyone's survival. However, that does not mean that the mental and emotional effects from this pandemic are over, and it also does not mean that COVID itself has been fully resolved, nor is COVID itself fully understood medically. So in giving cause, caution to the situation, I decided after about three weeks of pretty intensive conversations with my colleagues in the field, um, that it would be well fitted and well suiting for for us to uh, each of us and where we are, where uh, for for each of us in the corner of the world that we each inhabit, to give resources, to share information, and I feel like my portion of it is to continue to give resources as well um, for your self care, uh, and to be honest, um, it's also been. I think it's a mutually symbiotic process when we give, we also receive something out of it. It's been good for my professional practice as well, where I've been able to share the recordings that I make with some of my existing, um, my existing clients, my existing patients, and they've said that they shared with me that it's been beneficial for them. So it's really gone both ways um, in providing free resources. As a result, uh, of making this decision to continue this channel, to continue the resources that I made in the in the heaviest times of quarantine and pandemic uh, due to coronavirus, I'm going to be renaming two things. First, I'm going to rename this channel, changing it from COVID-19 Mental Health Chats 
to mental health chats and self-care tips with Elise, counselor and coach. It's a long name and a mouthful, but it will better encompass what I will continue to provide you. This channel on YouTube will be organized with categories of what YouTube calls playlists. The playlist I organize will have themes so you can quickly find what is most beneficial to you. The second resource I will be renaming is the private Facebook group where I share self-care information and host daily forums for members to receive support and to provide each other positivity. Everyone is welcome to join that space as well. That Facebook group is tightly admined for privacy and for maintaining a helpful atmosphere. Please note that whatever is shared in that group will be monitored for safety purposes. And if anyone indicates suicidality or homicidality, I would have to report to local authorities because I'm a mandated reporter. The private Facebook group was called Coronavirus Self-Care Mental Health. Moving forward, I will be renaming it Mental Health Chats and Self-Care Tips with Elise, Counselor and Coach, which is the same name as what I'll be giving this YouTube channel. And as mentioned before, membership in that group does not mean that you're somehow automatically placed into a provider-patient relationship with myself as a therapist or in a provider-client relationship with me as a coach. Please engage with me here, subscribe to get the latest content for the practice of your well-being, and feel welcome to also join on my practices Facebook group, which will be linked below. You're more than welcome to share this with others as well as you see benefit. And with that, I'll be sending you much hope and prayer. God bless.